Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Uh, probably one of the most common questions I get asked is spirulina or chlorella, which one is better, what's the difference between the two, and which one do you take? And spirulina and chlorella are the most powerful foods in the world. They are the most nutritionally dense foods in the world and they have the broadest array of nutrients of any foods known. They're about 60% protein, so they're what we should use for, for protein rather than animal protein, meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. They're just vastly superior to that. In fact, all you'll need is about a small handful, maybe uh, 12, 14 tablets at the most. That's about 3 to 4 grams with each meal, and that's all the protein you'll need for that meal. Therefore, if you do want to eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, it's strictly for the taste. They should be used for the foundation of our nutrition. And uh, there's really the only two foods in the world that you can live on exclusively and get all your basic nutrients. There are no other foods like that. There are other foods you can survive on, but here you're getting all your basic nutrients, your protein, your carbohydrates, your fats. So the question is, which one should you take? Well, they, if you look at their nutritional profiles, you're going to see they're very, very similar, but they're completely different foods from one another. So which one should you take? Chlorella is a true plant because it has a nucleus. And spirulina is, is a cyanobacteria, so it's kind of half plant, half animal. So chlorella was the first food on the planet, the first true food, although spirulina was here about 300 million years before chlorella. So all plants essentially on earth evolved from chlorella, whereas really nothing has ever evolved from spirulina. Chlorella gets its name from the very high amount of chlorophyll that it has, two and a half to three percent. That's off the charge. You look at something like grass, it's a very small percentage of the plant. Chlorella is about 20 percent fiber and uh, it is really a unique type of dietary fiber. Um, there's really nothing else like it and found in any other plant. We actually have to crack open the cell um, which is why they call it crack cell chlorella to get at the nutrients. So chlorella incredibly detoxifying. Spirulina has very little fiber in it, almost nothing. Now spirulina is, some people call it a blue-green algae, it's not, it's a cyanobacteria. Uh, cyan meaning a blue bacteria. Um, it's about 200 times larger than chlorella. So it's a completely different food. And it grows in a spiral shape. So that's where it gets its name, spirulina or spirulina. Spirulina is a very high energy food. I, I might want to take it an hour, hour and a half before a workout. I take it throughout the day. It does give you a lot of energy. Uh, chlorella does as well, but not as much as spirulina. Uh, spirulina is also a very, very powerful antioxidant. It's got something called SOD, which is superoxide dismutase, an extremely powerful antioxidant. Spirulina has also got something called phycocyanin in it, and uh, that's what gives it its blue color. Um, that is a very powerful antioxidant and a very powerful uh, immune system builder, great for cardio health and a lot of other things, but that's something that chlorella doesn't have at all. Now as far as essential fatty acids, chlorella has something called ALA, alpha linolic acid, and spirulina has something called GLA or gamma linolic acid. So one, each one has its own type of fatty acids, and this is where we really get into more of the details of why they're so completely different foods, yet the nutritional profiles look extremely similar to one another. So these are completely different foods. The nutrients you find in chlorella will not be found in spirulina and vice versa. And so which one should you take? What's the conclusion? Well, I take them both. I recommend you take them both. I take both of them every single day. Our most popular product is our 50-50 tablets, which is 50% spirulina and 50% chlorella. But some people like to take them separately. As I said, uh, spirulina is a very high energy food, so a lot of people take them right first thing in the morning and throughout the day for the energy they, they give you. And then chlorella, it's got the fiber, the incredible detox aspects to it, so they take that more in the evenings. So when do I take these foods? Well, I usually take them together and I take them throughout the day. So you can take them any way you want. They are the king of all superfoods and they're what we should use for our protein. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. Check out all my books on audible.com.